All right, here we go. Rack number one with Kaylee McIntosh and Robert Noon. Kaylee's double dipping. She's playing in a females event and the uh, and the open amateur event. Yeah, yeah. She had a she had a tough one over there first time. She lost to uh, Sophia Double Hill. I'm guessing, so, or Kaylee's probably still in it, correct? Yeah. All right. I just know she's been skipping back and forth over here. All right, so Kaylee breaks, gets the uh, gets the one ball down. She has a wide open table. Not much that affects her though, going from the uh, nine foots over to the uh, back to the eight and back to the nine. But you know, she is good enough to to uh, probably not have it affect her, but still, yeah. All right. Looks like Kaylee's probably going to be starting out here with a break and run. She take the four ball straight down and the uh, cue ball right back across for the six into the side. Should be off and running here. Kaylee's an up and coming girl. I don't know even know if she's up and coming anymore. She's pretty much made her mark on the the WPBA tour. I want to say she's probably rated top five Fargo wise. So you're going to be hearing about her for a long time to come as long as she's committed to playing pool. Oh boy, she tried to cheat the pocket to get down there for the uh, the six ball and uh, hangs the four for Robert Noon. Okay, and we got Robert Noon. He's a 602 Fargo. There's a 52 point difference between the two of them. Curious to see how this will play out if you go by. If you're one of the uh, Fargo believers. Yeah. Robert's just got to watch out for the scratch. He should the cue ball should be uh should come on uh. You know, I I thought Robert was going to follow that ball and, and come up short of the side pocket and then uh have a little better shot on the nine. But either way, he uh he worked it out and and left himself a nice cut on the nine. Finished it off and went on the scoreboard first. One nothing. Looks like we got Mike DeLotter playing over here against uh, Bobby Jeezy. We'll try to get you guys a score update on that one. That seemed like a good good one we should have had on stream. But I'm sure you'll be seeing both of them on stream, so we'll save them for a little, we'll save them for a later date. I'll try to get you guys a score update on that as soon as I can. But in the meantime, we have uh, on our feature table Robert Noon. He's up one zero on Kaylee McIntosh. He's breaking again. We're playing nine ball on the spot. And then we're at one of my favorite stops here, stop number four at Bruins. North in Lakeland. If you guys haven't been here, it's a uh, it's a great place. It's got the got the good pool pool feel, pool player feel. It's kind of dark on the inside and nice arcade. If you want to come out here, bring the kids, let them run run a muck in there, play some skee ball, a couple other games going on, some basketball, air hockey, 
And the good thing about it is it's uh it's got windows around there, so the the noise doesn't really generate out to the uh, the pool area. So that's that's always nice. Been to a couple pool halls where they have the uh, air hockey and it ding 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 and it makes noise and it's 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 hard to concentrate. But but here it's 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 nice and quiet as far as that goes. And the food's great. I just had me some potato chip crusted chicken tenders, which I thought were phenomenal. All right, back to the pool. Let's see what Kaylee's gonna work out. She's got a uh she's got a long shot on uh the one. I don't I guess she could probably see the whole thing. She may have to spin it a little bit and try to throw the one in. If that's the case, she's gotta watch she doesn't get locked up in behind a six. Um looks like a good safety. She didn't get quite locked up onto the three ball like she wanted to, so she's gonna leave uh She's going to leave a kick, or if not, the, the full shot for, for Robert Noon. Robert hit that out, out there absolutely perfect. Got a nice shot on the, on the two ball. Can't tell if the angle's going to have to go off of the, the short rail and back out, or if he's, uh, that, that ball better start moving. See, that's what I was saying on the last game. I don't know if a lot of you guys are with me from the last game, but, you know, sometimes that ball will come off of there flying, and other times it will uh, come slow rolling off of there. And it, it sure felt like that one, just uh, so hard to pick up, to gauge the speed, I should say. Lewis Hernandez, table 18. Uh, Robert's down looking to see. He's looks like he's going to have to spin this to uh, – Okay, he hit the six, so Kaylee's going to get ball in hand. Pretty relatively easy out. Just got to get down to that seven ball, which I don't particularly see to be a, an issue for her. So Kaylee's looking to get a number by her name on this score sheet. Francisco Serrano, William Roberts, table 17. Oh, she may not like this ball. She's not going to like that. I thought she left a little bit too much of an angle on that six ball. She wanted to slide that over off of the four and, and get a little more straight in on the six so she could just snap it straight back down for the seven. I was a little curious on why she took that angle, but I like she 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 doesn't really react too much. I like her demeanor. She uh she she takes it in and. And on to the next shot. So just got to see what she. All right, she went uh, full board and tried to get a hit. George Saunders back over. I don't know if he wants to get on the mic yet. Oh, I'm here. There you go, George. What's going on? Oh, I see you went over to grab yourself a Guinness after that game. Look at that, George. Oh, I thought he scratched. Gotta start somewhere. Guinness is yeah. for his. Uh... Wheat free? I don't know. It's supposed to be healthy. Guinness? You know, I've never been like a dark beer drinker. Oh, Bob. So she is so Kaylee gonna come here to Rob Bow tournaments or what? Hey, you know, she's in a loop bracket after the first match over there. Oh, Sophia right. Sophia took her out, but you know, not that that means anything of her her uh you know, she can she come back from anywhere yeah, out after. on both of these things. So yeah, you might be right, George. She made a couple mistakes over here I've seen. I was wondering how much going from table to table is hurting her. She's made a couple of little mistakes here. She she uh, very easily could could be up uh, 2 nothing. She shot that and she put her head down before she even uh she 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 put her head down before the cue ball even hit the Hit the I tip. I, I actually don't <clears throat> haven't watched her shoot uh, very much, but I'll obviously hear a lot about her. She's obviously a great player. So you know, I've I've seen her a handful of times. Pretty much just whenever we like come here. But um, this this right now, this match I've seen her shooting right here. Um, I'm not sure what's. I think she. I don't know if she's frustrated from her her match over there earlier with Sophia, but uh. She just looks off. 
possible. Frustrated. I, I don't know. She needs to. She needs to regroup. I don't know how she is as far as being an emotional player. Like if she lets those things stick with her, you would think being a at, at her her speed. You know. You know the old thing, George. You go learn how to lose, learn how to win. Right. So I don't know whether she's young though. Yeah. You know, always learning. Uh, the other day, uh, somebody had made a comment about how Shane Shane kind of gave up playing Fedor, Fedor, and uh, you know, saying he kind of can't kind of can't have that attitude on the Moscone Cup, and he's the top player in the world. He, you I know, mean, everybody gets goes through those. You know, no matter how seasoned you are, I suppose. Yeah, it's funny you say that because I feel like I've watched Shane play uh, filler a couple times, and I feel like Shane's just kind of quit on him you know it's almost like whenever shane gets it see you know he's probably not used to over the years having his young guns firing at him because <laughs> he's been rolling the world but these young guys you know they're just they're just firing at him man and he it's almost like what do i do how do i react you know he's getting ready to play uh jason shaw here soon the longer set i don't remember exactly what the game is but oh uh, mike these up five four okay so i was uh yeah, so Mike D's playing Bobby G over there, and I said I was going to get you guys a score update. So Mike D's up on that 5-4. They're going to 7. So who you like on that that uh, Shane and uh, Shaw match? And if you had to put a line on it, what would you put your line at? Is the, What's the race, 75 or 100? Man, you had to ask me that, didn't you, George? Hey, whatever well, the line the is, whatever you you. The line, you just, <laughs> whatever I choose, you bet against it, and you're dead stealing. Yeah, it. there you go. That's 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 why I was asking. <laughs> that's why I was asking. Oops. Somebody comment, and give us what the what the uh, score is on, or I mean, what the race to is on that Jason Shaw match. I guess it depends on a lot of things. What table? What you know? What rack? Mm -hmm. What you know? A lot of things. He also the factors. He also has that that match come up with Shohan that uh that one pocket match. I think that one said they got almost like a hundred some thousand dollars in that one. They're playing at Griff's. I think. Well, just I haven't really been following Shane much, but he he doesn't seem to be really in it. Into one pocket, right? Into pool. I don't know. Into like he well the last match. You know he's very calm as it is very, yeah. not very very emotional i guess you could say but he just didn't seem like he wanted to be there yeah i watched him down in the philippines play there a little bit all right robert noon oh my goodness gracious he just he just ran that table and hung that hung that nine ball wow yes 100 percent Hey, well, I didn't even update the score from the last time. Wow, Robert just ran that table down and, and uh, missed a straight in nine ball. Um, Sunshine State. So if you guys uh want to check out the uh, brackets, it's on Digital Pool, and we're Sunshine State Predator Pro Am Tour. If you guys want to share that, link for the viewers that'd be greatly appreciated hey, Especially on, come tomorrow you're wonderful on miss seeing your face buddy yep. that was earlier. all right kaylee's breaking to try to tie this tie this match up Did they give us a? Uh, did they give us what the race is to on that uh, Jason Shaw match? What yes. was the race with uh, Jason and uh, Shane? Shane coming up. You know, I was just out at Vegas. I played in a tournament out there, and uh, I was talking to Griff, and he was he was saying that the uh, that Tony and Shane that they negotiated for that um, for their one pocket match they're playing out there, and they. they uh, Griff was saying he has to change the the pocket size because they they want one month old felt and they want four and a quarter inch pockets. So he's got to uh, right now. I think they're four and an eighth, if I remember what Griff said. And he said he has to open them up and then afterwards he's going to close them back up a little bit. And it's just crazy how much how they know the exact 
detail that they want, you know, on the, on the table. Well, Tony, Tony knows that Shane is a straighter shooter. So of course, you know, he, he might move. I think Tony just gambles better than me. Yeah. He's a clutch, clutch player from what I've all, from what I've seen. But, uh, I think this chain is due to get one, that one pocket. One twenty is what the race is. Yeah. Okay, well, the, with uh, Tony, I think. No, with uh, pocket with Jason. One fish to one twenty. I don't I know. Tony. I just don't. I've never really seen uh, Jason play long, long yeah, sessions like that. Like that. Yeah. But I know he's a hell of a shot. We're, We're big gambling matches. Everything. We're big gambling guy matches. Makes everything. I watched him running out on a ten footer with a bridge in Derby one one year. That guy. Never mind. I don't take that. <laughs> if you want to win, go against. Me. All right, Kaylee. It's got a shot, George. You Mac got the Bledsoe's angle. That's in line. the house. That Big one Mac, doesn't go up, by the. Uh, that one doesn't go by the two, does it? Does that come up in this corner up here? I can't see from where I'm at. It's tight. No. I think she tried it though. All right, Robert Noon. I think Robert Noon's an English guy, right? I wonder if he has a snooker background to him. Let's see his cue. Is his cue really thin? Eh. Eh. Nah. What's his Fargo? 602. But I heard that he used to be a player back in the day. I don't know much about Robert. I quit for, for a Quite a few years, so a lot of the guys I don't know anymore. Let's see, so three to the four. Uh, it's hard to hold that ball, man. It, I just played on the table. The table's fast. I was talking about that, and it, it, there's a few shots where it looks like the table goes slow, and then all of a sudden the, the ball like comes flying off of that rail, and it's like, man, where'd that come from? I was talking about it on my match over there too. And then, matter of fact, you shot a ball where the cue ball rolled all the way down into the jaws and you had to cut the seven into the side and then you had the eight or it was a six, seven, nine. And you, I think you missed the, it was a very last game. I think it might've been. Yeah. Very last game or the game before where you missed the seven, whatever. But anyway, yeah, I was saying that about how that ball just kept on rolling right down into the, into the jaws down there. The cue ball came all the way down. I think it rolled about three feet longer than you thought it was going to go. I can plug it in your truck. Leave it in the truck. What if I want to leave? What if I want to bring it here? Cause it looks like All right. So this is going to be a shot right here. We're going to, are we playing, uh, are we playing next ball on rotation foul? Huh? All right. Well, if Kaylee was watching, I think he, uh, he had his shirt on to the six ball. If Kaylee really was wanting to call that foul, she had a foul on that right there. So. Um, I know you were talking to Mike D there, but we're playing next ball in rotation, and whenever he was leaning over there, his shirt was over top of the six. Oh. Technically, that that was a foul, but Kaylee didn't even look, and I'm not sure if she would even have called that foul. A lot of people don't really particularly call that foul, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. But she may have gotten rewarded for yeah, it anyway. Yeah, that, though. I like, it's, <laughs> yeah. I've seen people get called for less. Yep. Like, I, I actually, uh, in my match, I think I gave, Joel a ball in hand he didn't take it because I didn't see it I wasn't even paying attention I missed the first kick and came back to the second rail and hit it uh -huh. and I don't think I touched a rail but I didn't even I was just annoyed that I didn't kick it the first time and kind of didn't pay attention mm -hmm. but he's like oh and he just shot it and that kind of he's a good dude you know, oh yeah super super gentleman well, you know the pool gods worked out for Kaylee anyway because she got a great right. shot on a six and so no harm no foul Oh, yeah, you're playing me and I do something wrong. I'm making sure the pool god works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will sabotage. Uh, it's going to put a stroke on this one if she just takes the cue ball up or if she's uh, going to shoot the eight in the corner. If she Trump. takes yeah, if she takes the eight in the side, she's just going to have to go all the way up. But it looks like she's going to oh. wish she undercut it. Oh, I got a little love on that. Got the shooter's roll there. Yes, man, I'm uh no, her her demeanor, George, just doesn't look like she's completely into it. You never know what's going on in someone's head. 
And pool is what? what what's the percentage? They say 90 something percent, but I don't think it's quite that much. You can make up any percentage. And, and as long as the mental part is the high percentage, I agree with you. Yes, sir. But yeah, you got to like a lot, lot of torture to play this game. That's oh, sure. that's true. <laughs> wow. Another brave shot. I'm just going to call this. She makes the shot and gets and gets a good shot on the nine just because no. you know it's one of those shots that especially after you miss like an easy one like that and you come back and spear one like this yeah, I hope spear. She... you ready yeah. all right well it's, it's okay came over asking for a phone charger left him uh, he's got a little angle be a good time to take a take a little restroom break The old restroom break. All right. Robert's looking to go up 3 1. Got it. Sit up. You're over there. No, uh, no, no, no. You're over there. My is over there. You got to go up on to this side. What's oh, going on here? They just skip computers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still on a flip phone, sort of. Oh, there we go. No wonder it was upside down. All right, 3-1, Robert Noon. Yeah, she needs to, she needs to probably go regroup, you know? Yeah, you go out go out in the back parking lot, scream pretty loud. I don't know. I, uh, is that what? I is that I, what? I think I just, I was trying to set at Racks, right? Last big tournament that they had there. And I, uh. I had broken ran like three and then the guy finally got a shot and he took like a, he, he walked away from the table and my daughter was sitting there. She was actually watching me to play. She never watched me play, but she haven't. I said, he's, he's stalling on me. And, uh, she goes, um, what's that mean? And I was like, well, he's going out to take a break so that I slow down. And then she, she didn't really get it. Then we were watching King Richard and she watched when, when uh, Venus was playing, and what? Who was it? The world champion at the time, back when she was a kid, she walked out of the out of the stadium Steffi and went Graf. to the bathroom. I'm not sure who it was, but she she left for like 15 minutes and cooled and cooled Venus off, and she ended up losing. And um, I said, "See how she stalled on her?" She's like, "Oh, it was like a light bulb went." Up. Nice, nice. <laughs> what a teaching moment. I was so proud. You're like, yeah. But maybe she just needs to go out for herself. You know, not to really pull a move, but sometimes you need to. Hey, you know what? If you got to stall off, it's a dog eat dog world around here. Mm -hmm. If you got to stall off to win it, and so be it. De Niro. All right. Key here is to get on the five so you can get yourself a nice, nice line on that seven to go straight back over for the eight. Wide open table. She's got to, uh, she has to strike. Strike right here. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, I understand she's got a pretty, she's got a real good stroke, and maybe maybe it's having to hold it back that's hurting her. You see how got that like Michael Green and Yeah, man, we've all been there. Sometimes you just got to feel that. I mean. Got a feel for the fellow player at that that point in time. Tell she's struggling. She just kind of tossing her hands up there, and ain't nothing worse than being on stream and knowing you're 
the stream. The no. stream gets me. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. You're not, not playing your best. Yep. I played pretty good on the stream today. Yeah, you but did. I'll tell you what, the stream gets me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. You ain't the only one. All right, he left himself a good uh good angle to Mr. To go straight back down for the eight. He's gonna get on the eight. Like that. What was that? Oh, looks like he's looks like he's free stroking a little bit, getting a little confidence. She's not putting mm -hmm. any fear in him. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He Oh, that he got hooked. A, he's hooked. Rough roll there. But that's what happens when you're not putting making the cue ball go exactly where you want on the rail. He was free stroking so much to where he shot that eight ball and did not even look at the cue ball. He grabbed his chalk and he kind of like strutted a little bit. He he was automatically walking up there to sink the nine and then he looked up at the last second like into a rude awakening. He got some humble pie. Yes, he did. He got a big slice of humble pie. See what he does here. Looks like a good speed shot. Oh, that's a hell wow! Of a how did he hit that? That was a good, good shot. Good shot. A little one pocket, one little one pocket kick. Yeah. What do you, what do you, uh, what do you like here, George? What, what, what do you, how are you playing this? My, is it what she's shooting? I'm, I mean, she may just want to duck this time, put the cue ball on the bottom rail, play the nine two rails or one rail. Just I don't know the angle exactly that she has or how she wants to hit it. Yeah, I was, she's trying to cut it though. She is. She's trying. She's just going uh, balls of the wall straight up into the corner. Or you could have, could have played the old APA safe where you just roll it up to the ball. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, I'm not. A, I don't know if. Uh, you know, I, I know she's just trying to probably make something happen right there. But I, I think if you want to grind it out and and try to get a win out of that game, I don't know if that was a. That makes any sense at all. I don't know if I like that shot of going for that. That just seemed a little bit too close to try to cut that up. But look, look at this, man. It worked out for. Her. Yeah. Call this one in the hole. I just just call this. Yeah. So my uh, snap, snap it in there. Get it, let that stroke See how my out. Commentating skills are. Ooh, there it. you go. She is. All right. All right. She stopped. That little. She stopped the bleeding. Put some super glue on the cut. She stopped the bleeding. Three two. And he just went from free stroke and thinking he's about to go up four one to now three two and she's breaking. She gets a nice break and run right here. That's gonna be uh all of that pressure turns right there back on him. She might start free stroking after that. Exactly. This is the kind of game. This right here is a game that does it too. Robert looked like he fallen asleep over there. He got his head down, eyes closed, swaying back and forth. Okay, there he goes. Now he picked his head up. Uh, Meditating. He's med he's he's uh Namaste. Going back in his head about what just happened. What had happened was <laughs> what had happened was All right. Uh nope. Does not have the this one. Is, this is kind of a free shot where she could jump this ball and and get good shape, and that would pump her up right there. Yeah, these I like, are the shots that fire me up. Yeah, personally, I like I like going for this jump shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just slide out to the side. Yeah. It's kind of natural. Just kind of a stun. She gonna yeah. hit it good. And even Let's yeah, because you know even if you even if you don't. Even if you don't make it, the chance are the one's going to go back down there, and then the two's locked up in, underneath of the eight. You really don't have to elevate that high. Ooh, it's a good try. Good so, just like that, the, the one's going the opposite direction. Now she's got to come back up for the two. So, yeah, it was a it was a free shot, like you said, for the most part. That nine has no chance of going, right? How's that for a shot? Yeah, how's that for a shot? What do you think about that on? Was that a one pocket shot? Ooh, one pocket safe? Yeah, that was uh standard. That was a pretty good one.
All right. Jump cues out two shots in a row. These young, young whippersnappers in their frog cues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. James Easy Green. The 2 8 doesn't look like a walk in the park down here, even if you can get on it. Yeah, no. He's going to get a little angle on it and then could bounce in front of that five. That five is going to cause him a little traffic. See what happens. Meaning. Yeah, you ain't liking it. Ain't liking, the, liking this, this table of know how, no way. Oh, okay, so he's going to just stop it there and go for a three foul. Yep. Better not make it. This is one of those shots you accidentally make two rails. Two railed back up there in the top right. Oh, she, he left her a shot. She got a little love there. He left her the shot. Not an easy shot. Nope. But if you just smooth it out and, and play it, just try to get it back in the middle of the table. That four ball looks like it's not going to go. I think she's slightly hooked, didn't she? No? Aggressive side of me would like to, to go into that nine ball and hopefully get a lucky kick. Oof. I think that might have been what she was thinking about, huh? What's that? Try to hit the... Coming into the nine and, yeah... Rolling the cue ball over, back over for the three, just getting way too aggressive. I think it's like a natural instinct to want to try to get that out of there. Good news is he's going to break these two balls down here out. Oh, maybe not. He's going to play safe under the five. Or try to. Oh, he's still. Wow, he like he gets pretty creative with his saves. He likes to play some uh, some smart pool. He he's not going to go for any runouts. They're not there. I like a safe right here too. Same spot he's at. She likes to shoot. Yeah, she does. She's she's going. Uh, she's trying to make something happen. She's trying to. I think some of each trying to get in stroke. But even I mean, even if she makes that ball, she still has to work with that four nine. I like trying to play the safe, trying to put better position a breakout ball. Yeah, because you could have hit the hit the two down beat by that seven nine area in that general area. And brought the cue ball back up underneath. Got there, Georgia. I mean. Well, he's going to go for a breakout here, but I, a four, a four nine bank, actually didn't look too bad. Joe Delio, Joe Delio's in the house. Randall Creator, what's up, buddy? All right. Kaylee's getting back up to the table. I feel like we played quite a few innings here on this game. All right, guys. I'm sorry, man. There's somebody talking in my ear. So. A little bit more. A little inside, probably. Kevin Behan, you're on the clock. Table slide a little bit, so. It's a nice finesse shot here. You just gotta you gotta trust your stroke. You gotta stay down on this one. Nice, nice soft stroke and, and just trust overcut it. Cut the ball. Yeah. You always overcut it. On my team, if you're ever on my team and you don't overcut the ball, you get punched in the face. Ooh. And that's just the rule. Ooh. Sound like a fun you can ask team. All George. My teammates. Sound like a fun team. You have any openings, George? I, I need a good shot in the face every now and again. Man, how many innings we had this game? 
god. Oh, oh look at this. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Might as well go ahead and add one more to it. If, you, if you're careless with the cue ball here, the speed will catch you off guard. 16. I think you gotta play a two rail, two rail seven. Just, just stop the cue ball. Game is safe. Anybody know Kevin Meehan out there in Facebook land? Why don't you shoot my man a text and tell him he's on a clock? And if you. And if you are watching, Mr. Kevin, if you uh, have no intention on coming back, why don't you go ahead and uh, give us a comment on there so we know to move on and we're not holding the table up. Greatly appreciate it. All right, George. Looks like that seven's hanging out a little bit. I, she could... The two rail. Come back up. All right. Just like uh, so. I don't think she got it, George. Oh, boy. This table's fast. Yeah, a little short. Yeah. A lot of short. Yeah, a couple feet short. I really wonder how much going from table to table is affecting her. Surely, I mean, surely you're adjusted by this point. I mean, we're 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 28 innings in on this one game alone, so. She just shoots everything. She, I mean, that's, like you said, it's a way to get in stroke, but, I mean, they're not really high percentage shots. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe it, like that was, there was a couple safeties she could have played there. One put the cue ball back under the nine, and other, you know, other one thin the a ball on the right side, come no. back around, just let him yeah. take the tough shot. Yeah, yeah. she she could have she could have played a, a yeah a couple of nice safeties on that one. All right, he missed a he missed an easier straight in nine. He missed an easier straight in nine earlier. So let's see if he. All right, four two. Robert Noon. Who ended up winning? Did you win, Bobby? Did you win? All right. So on that match earlier with uh, Delauder and uh, Bobby Jeezy, Delauder ended up moving on. He took down Bobby. All right, four to two, Robert Noon. Putting Bob Kaylee so far. It got quiet all of a sudden here, George. It's like a night at the Apollo in here. Well, yeah, man, everybody's in our ear talking about people showing up, this and that. I couldn't hear a word, couldn't hear a word edgewise, and then it got dead silent. Right, it's a much better break than that last game. This this one might be uh might get this one done a lot quicker. He should be able to get a nice cut on this one ball and just drift the cue ball down for the two. I think he can get past that six ball, right? Yeah, he might not be able to get past that six ball. No. Tried to shoot it through the six ball. That was option number three. Let's see. Get a nice cut, maybe. Uh, main focus here is make the two ball, and the cue ball should come. Oh my goodness, he he way overcut it. Do you think he was playing a safety? Really? Thought he was trying to. I'm not. I wouldn't bet on it. I didn't really get to see it too well, but I mean that's not a not a bad safe though. Kick it, kick safe. Yeah, he does play a lot of safes, so. Right. I wouldn't put it past it for sure. Oh, that was another punch in the face there. I would never hit a you know, a woman, but <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna follow up on any kind of jokes on that one there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Take care. Brutal. See, now that ball keep, looks like it keep on rolling and rolling. 
I swear some of these balls come out so slow and some just take off. All right. Robert Noon shooting the four ball. He's up 4-2, race to seven. A little stroke shot, a little tester. Try to try to keep that ball for the side. Try to draw that ball back around. What do you think? Tough shot. Yep. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Just uh, staying down on it and putting he one heck of a stroke on it. He's playing safe. Oh, okay. He went that. He went the natural route. What a shot! Look at this guy. Side. My <laughs> goodness! Hey, wow! Better luck. I didn't see that one time. coming, huh? <laughs> the old two rail combo. Uh, we taught that back in the old days. Said he's an old school player, so. One's easy to undercut too. Is he working on a break and run this rack or did Kaylee shoot? Kaylee shot, right? Did she shoot? No. I don't think so. I have a feeling he's gonna put her behind this behind the nine ball in this shot right here. Take the cue ball down and be under She's the nine. Be kicking, kicking behind the nine. Yeah. Kicking from behind the nine. Does anybody know Kevin Meehan? Man is on the clock. Oh, oh, he wow. went, he went full out. That was a good shot. George and I were just saying that he, he's, uh, he's been playing a lot of saves. So we were fully expecting a save on that one. He had the little Maglino hitch on that one. You see how he did the little slowdown and then he released? All that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You miss a ball George. on this table. You missed. Yeah. Do you know how many times he's done that now? Early in the match, he did that a couple times. I don't know whether you were getting a beer and that one nine ball you sat down. He's a. Uh, you and I were commentating earlier where you said they'll make the hard shots and then you'd be surprised they dog the easy ones. He's done that a couple times now. It's like that's, he loses concentration on those easy ones. That's very common amongst amateurs. Uh, hence why we're amateurs. Yep, that's for sure. You gotta like that abuse. 4 3. It's weird. Take the easy shots for granted. So Kaylee has, she's only one game down and. We all know, and as this isn't throwing any shade her way, but she's definitely not playing anywhere near her capabilities, and she's only one game down. She really uh, should just take that, spin as a positive. You know, all that weight should be off her back right now, knowing she's only one game down and probably playing one of the worst sets she could play. You know? She never stops shooting. I don't think she's going to stop now. No. Sure. no yeah, she's <laughs> She's got one speed, and that's a uh, full board ahead. Let's go. It's go time all the time. Hey, bold. Well, we got a lot of one 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 side of the table action going on here, except for uh, it's got the one, two, three, four. To take a uh, take a second and oh, he missed a he missed a fairly easy uh, shot aside the there. But uh, let's take a take a moment to give a shout out to our sponsors here. Our title sponsor we have Predator, uh, Kamui Products, Stitch It to Me Embroidery, Nikki Quayar. Good shot. Made a good shot and got tied up in behind the six. 
All right, guys, I'm I'm up right now, so we're going to leave it up to Bobby and uh, George. Garcia, table 11. You got to hit that one a little harder, not try to play position. You kind of want to get a safety out of that. Looks like he's uh, moving the cue ball good right here. Put one rail back, two rails. Uh-oh. Got a little love there. Pretty steep cut here, but I think he'll, uh, he's got a big pocket with that eight ball there. Hello, Hello everyone. Let's go. Bobby Jeezy and Easy. Uh, two rails. What's going on, George? And? Two, three, rail. Uh oh. Got a little love there. Like, see it close to his work. Hey, Robert's been struggling, huh? Okay. Couldn't have made a couple bad shots close to the nine every time. They both been struggling a little bit. Takes it down. Haley has been shooting. There's one thing I will say. I've never really watched her play. I've heard a lot about her. She is not afraid to shoot at all. She sure isn't. She yeah, I've seen her shoot a time or two. She, Yeah, she, she don't mind shooting at the ball. I think if she would maybe play a safe here or there, she would create a lot more opportunity for herself. Yeah, she took a really tough shot on nine ball earlier. and Fortunately for her, she... Uh, she left it for, for Robert, and he missed it. Left her an easy shot on it. Oh, yes. Oh, you saw that one. They're definitely uh, they're getting opportunities. Yeah. Definitely not running away with it. So Robert Noon uh, is kind of in charge of this match at the moment. Five to three against Kaylee McIntosh. Long shot on the two. It's a natural shot, right? Just come out back out in the middle of the table. Yeah. For the three and then roll up for the four. Just use a little he swings it. Angle. He's swinging it. He must be filling it now. Hit that ball really good. Thank God he hit it with just straight top English. Drift back up towards the center. Bumping out the seven right here if you could. Oh, absolutely. That combo. No, he's going to settle for the combo. Yeah, I guess so. Suppose. Yeah. Get on the short side of the six. Yep. That's the natural. That's what I like to. Drifting towards the six ball. Definitely close to his work. Yeah. Well, I don't think he can shoot at this ball. He's got to go across the top of the six. Yeah, fairly easy save. Yeah, he can he can put that cue ball between the seven and the nine if he wanted to. He's going to need good speed, though. Yeah. Either way, he should be okay. That, uh... He's going the other way. Maybe use the eight ball as a blocker. So, yeah, that's pretty good. good call, Bobby. I think uh, might be a little sliver of the six ball out for Kaylee. Stick him behind that seven. Like, come that's what I like. I like that better. I like that shot a lot better. Yeah. 
Or the other one. The one you're talking about. Either the nine and the seven. Oh, you're talking about right now. I thought no, you were no, talking no, about before. the one before. before. Yeah, the one before. Right. I like going across the top of the six and try to put the cue ball behind the seven and the nine. Like right in between them, actually. So, anywho. She's just going for the kick. Good speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Robert's got the same shot. Thin that ball. Get it up table. I don't know. I'd be, I think I would kick this shot. I don't I don't like the thin. You don't like the thin? I'm pretty good at the thin. I don't mind the thin. I feel like I would scratch nine out of ten times right here if I tried to thin the, <laughs> <laughs> the left side of that. Six Maybe ball. he feels that way, too. Let's see. I think you got to kick. He's safer. looking straight at it. Uh, he must have more ball than it appears. He's he's going straight at it. Well, I guess you got to, yeah, you got to know all the shots here, I guess. <laughs> what a shot that was. I don't think Kaylee has enough of this ball to make it. She's getting down and going straight at it, though, so she may have a shot. And the seven looks a little bit better on the nine ball now. I tell you, I've seen Kaylee miss more balls in this match, and I've seen her miss in a long time. She's a strong shooter. I think she is probably a little too much off offensive instead of defense. That's what you have to do when your when your offense is not working. You got to slow. Yeah, you, you got to slow slow things down. Yeah, that's increase, right. Increase your increase your odds of getting of shooting a high yeah. percentage shot. You know. Yeah, don't you shoot at a shot if you if there's a good chance you're going to miss it. It's cool every once in a while to shoot a flyer if you're out of stroke and you're just trying to get right back yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. But this is you know there's got to be a point where you try to get ball in hand. Yeah, she, she doesn't normally miss these kind of shots. So she's uh maybe she's starting to feel the heat. So Robert's got a nice shot here on the six ball, and I believe the seven might go by past the nine now. He's taking a look at it. Uh look like you're looking at the billiard on the nine. Seven might not go past the nine. Very good. All right, we're fixing to find out. I think you play There's the no way you can here. play the nine here. So he's got to be going at the seven all the way. Ooh. It was there. Might have struck that one a little too hard. As Elvis has said, it's now or never. That's right. It sure is. It's now or never. This is a pretty natural uh, one, two, three rail. Three rail position back to where it is now. This table it is. It is crazy. It's coming across the angle she's going to. Yep. That is good speed. Wow. Perfect. Boy, that was a lot thinner than I thought it needed to be. Yeah. That was a super thin shot. All right, it's a game again. Five four. Like the lottery, table nine. All right. Kaylee's within one now, again. Trailing the match four to five against Robert Noon. Just realized uh, Kaylee's sitting at a 654 Fargo. Wow, that's impressive. That's impressive. Right where I'm at. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'm yeah, screaming. Play a ring game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. 
Wow, that's strong. 654 Fargo. That's the first time I've, I've said that. It's your play. Yeah. She's got a, a pretty a nice stroke. Puts the ball good. Yeah, she I'd does. Like to see her, you know, like I said, play a couple little safeties. Yeah. That's a little too good. aggressive sometimes. Would not need to be. So, uh, Robert's got a really nice layout here. Bunch of tic-tac-toe here is what I'm looking at. Kind of hard to hold. I think he's got to go around. You think so? Table. Yeah, maybe he does have some uh, angle on that ball. Yeah, he got a big gap there between the eight and the nine. Shouldn't be a problem getting around that. Yeah, it wasn't as much angle as it appeared to be. Surely he's going to draw around the seven. Straight to the top rail and back down. Yeah, it's it's very tough to see the angle from where we're sitting at, guys. Didn't look like it was that straight. I think he's going to bump it to the... I like bumping into the five here. Not him. That was a good shot. That was a superb shot right there. He still has his work cut out for him. It ain't over yet. So, gonna force it with inside. Maybe yeah. Come across table yeah, I think he's going to force it inside and go this way and possibly this way. What do you like there, Bobby? Right here. Right here where I drew out. One pocket. One rail. Oh, see? I actually thought he was going to bring it. That was a tough tough transition. You got to go in the same pocket. Yeah, that's what oh, I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got drilled out on the screen. To use inside English and get that to come perfect is tough. And then you're straight in on the ball. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, not a, not the shot. It doesn't even look like he's got enough room to hit all of this ball. Uh-oh. Wow, he hit that ball really good. This really good. Cakewalk here. He's kind of I tell you what, this, uh, this out's been a journey. <laughs> Extreme journey. Every ball. All right, two rails, top rail, or the bottom rail, and then the side rail. Did he hit it too hard? Yep, he sure did. Don't want to be under the nine. I'll tell you All what, right. though. If Mr. Noon gets out from here, he deserves it. I know, that's right. He deserves it. Yeah. Every bit of it. I mean, every ball's <laughs> been, been tough. It's like one of my outs. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> yeah, he's just taking what the table's giving him, that's for sure. Kaylee's trying to shark him back there. <laughs> Just kidding, by the way. Q fell up behind him. He probably kicked it, throwing him. All right, well, seems like the shots are getting harder and harder as you go. Here. I'm firing it in the corner pocket. I'm firing that ball in the corner pocket. All the way up table. Shot and drawing it back. No, it I'm not playing old. Shot, trying to shoot in my he's almost on the rail. Perfect. That means he's <laughs> going to have to jack up too. That's like giving him no chance. I think he, he fires it. He fires it in this uh, as the stream people are looking in the bottom right hand corner and swings the cue ball three rails all the way around, just like that. And he only missed it by six or eight inches. He only missed it by six or eight inches. I tell you what, he was all over that nine ball had he made that eight. So now Kaylee's got her work cut out for her. The good thing about this is all you got to do is just bear down and make the ball. You're automatically putting the top English on it, so you don't even have to worry about that. Just make the ball with some speed, of course. That makes the shot more difficult. Fire in the hole. Kaylee trying to tie this ball game up. Nice, pure stroke. Look how smooth she hit that ball. There's the Kaylee I know. Nicely done. Dead perfect. Robert says you deserve that one. We're not supposed to give up the, concede the nine balls on the stream table, but some of them do it anyways. All right, so Kaylee ties the ball game up, five to five. She's got the break, rack number 11. And this is winner's bracket action going to seven. I think it's winner's bracket.
on the women's uh, event, she's out of the on. She's on the one loss side. Oh, she is. Mm-hmm. So she's still in the women's event on the one loss side, but she's still hanging in there. Tell you what, she's been shooting and shooting and struggling. That yeah. was the shot right there. Yeah, that was definitely a good time to come with a good shot. Looked like a little soft break. Yeah, that was a little soft break there, and uh, it didn't mark out for her. Uh, Robert's going to come to the table and not have a shot on the on the one ball unless he wants to jump it. <laughs> all right he figures it's easy enough to jump and make this ball and he hits it really good look at that wow he jumped the three and made the one Went straight up table, went behind the five, flips the back of the five. Now it looks like he's got another jump shot. No. He's pulled out shorty again, but that's dangerous. He might be better off just trying to tie up the ball. Spin around the nine. That was a bad hit. Good old ball and Paul for Kaylee. Like and a now everything is a, it's a very nice layout here. Five to the six is the only, if anything. Yeah. Depending on the angle she gets on the five. Anything but straight, basically. <laughs> yep. That's the only, only issue I see. Yeah. Which is not an issue, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Things happen. That's right. If you do get straight, you can draw straight back. But then you draw straight back, it could draw in the pocket. Yeah, there's no telling what could happen. Perfect. Yeah, good speed control there. All right, center ball and just bounce it off the side rail back to the middle of the table. There she goes. So I think, let's see, where do you want to be on the seven here? Anything on the left side of the table I'm good with. Anything. Yeah. Anything over there, I'm good. That seven sitting really good there. Try to get dead center here. Perfect. Yep. Stun shot for the nine in the other corner pocket. Beautiful. She's filling it now. After that long eight ball she made in the other game. Looks like she she uh shot her way out of her funk. Yep, that puts her on the hill. at all <laughs> check 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 wait hello check 
Check, check, check. Sure, it's working fine. Turn your computer up. <laughs> Turn your volume up. All right, so Kaylee made a nice break. Unfortunately, uh, once again, nothing happening with the one ball. So she'll be thinning this ball, trying to get the key ball. Mm, three's kind of big here, too. So she may just try to thin it and go, go up table somehow in between the three and the six. That's what she tried to do. That was kind of ugly. If she doesn't catch that three ball, she, she's yeah, in a good position. That was tough. She needed to hit that one a little bit thinner. All right. Nice shot by Robert. He needed to get a little bit more on that two ball, but he does have a shot. And this is where it gets really tricky, trying to hit it super thin and holding it up. You get end up on top of the eight or behind the six. And when you try to hold it up that slow, that's, that's what you get. Yeah. Seven to the eight. That's going to be a tough, tough one to hold. Definitely, you're going to need to be uh, pretty close to straight in on the seven, so you can play the eight in the side, or even yeah. the other corner, just depending right. on what side you get on. Just thinking. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking shooting a five where the two ball is. And let your cue ball, uh, when you shoot the six, let it drift towards the seven. And then you just shoot the seven in the right corner and play the eight in the side pocket to the left where the six is going to go in. That's what I'm thinking. But it all depends on how you get on the six ball. So plans change. And we're fixing to see what's going to happen here. I believe he'll draw it back just a couple inches, not much. He's still okay. Now, it's his, it's his option, what side of the ball. More than likely, I still think he's going to do what I said. And he might uh, get on it. He's very fortunate there. <laughs> but it still works out. He's still going to get what I'm sure he's going to play the eight in the side like I originally thought. He could draw back for the same pot. He could, but that would be asking for too much. Might be natural. Just play the, you know, just play the natural role. Well, he's gonna push the nine towards the corner. That's the way I would play it, just like so. And that's perfect. Hill, hill. All right, we got us a hill, hill thriller, y'all. Y'all understand the words coming out of my mouth? That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Robert Noon to break. Tied up ball game here. Six to six. Hill, Hill, Thriller. Last game of the match. Makes the six ball on the break, and he's looking pretty on the one ball. And I think if he can negotiate something on the two ball, this is going to be a nice looking run out. Just don't, uh, don't get yourself stuck behind the nine. You don't even want to touch the nine. You touch that nine, it could really, it could, it could do you pretty Change wrong. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a, a life-changing. Uh, you don't want to effect over it. You have. Yeah, 
You do not want to touch that. You want to slow this, slow roll this one ball in as just slow as you can. If you don't like that, yeah. You don't like that? Go ahead and roll it three rolls and play the two in the corner by the nine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I don't think it goes past the three. No. Maybe it does. This I don't know if that's what you're trying or not. I don't think so. Me? Oh, I thought you were doing the other one. That's fine. I don't care. I. Either way, that's fine. Okay. Um. It's hard to tell from this angle here. It looks like he might have a shot at this two ball. Can't tell from it, but I don't if not, you got to play a good safety here. Roll that cue ball up behind the three or the five. Either way, I think the three, if it's there. Second away, he was looking. It looked like he was playing a combo. Yeah, it still looks like he's playing a combo. And he did play a combo. Look at that. Wow, what a nice shot that was. Talk about not wanting to give up the turn at the table. <laughs> hey, you can't lose as long as you're at the table. And your opponent can't win as long as they're setting down. That was a great shot. Don't know if I would have pulled that one off. But look at this. Is he going to come too far? It needs to hold up. Boy, that ball rolls. I don't Tough think shot. he has a shot. Because it's not easy, but he's got one. Well, if he can find out if he likes it, he's going to have to go rail first. He's going to have to go rail first and spin this ball in. No, he went ball first. He didn't look like he could do that. He's got this funny shot again here. Like I said, we're, we're kind of far from the table, so it's hard to tell the angle from where we're setting. All right, so... Uh, now he's fixing to live really dangerous. Just like the last game he played, every ball was a tough shot, and it gets harder and harder as you go. And that's what I mean right there. There's no way I would spin that cue ball. Yeah. He was trying to run it into the seven. Yeah, you never do that. So uh, well, That's what happens when you don't really, you know, play a lot. You're, 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 yeah. It's like... You still shoot, you know. You can still shoot, but your speed or your speed is off, and your you know lines yeah. are a little off, you know. I'd have much rather him. Uh, oh, no. Wow, unbelievable! That's what I did earlier. Wow, that is heartbreaking. After all that fight. Well, folks, this is Bobby Jeezy and Heezy coming to you from Berlin's here in North, uh, along with George Saunders. Uh, I believe I'm going to be up on the stream next, from what I hear. So y'all might get to get a chance to see me dog it. There you go. <laughs>